hey you guys welcome back to my channel so i created this beautiful look i was inspired by the lip color i was like okay this cherry lip color let me just make a matching eye look to go with it but yeah if you guys want to see how i achieve this look please stay tuned Okay, so first things first, I always put on my Amy moisturizer. I am going to leave all the items that I use below because I don't remember off the back, I'm just talking. But yeah, so next thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to um, fill in my eyebrows. So lately I have been using the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. It's a very inexpensive eyebrow pencil. I believe it's at, at like a dollar at the drugstore. I really like it because um, it's not oily and the color is perfect. And yeah, and I've been doing like pretty simple stuff on my eyebrows. Um, I've just been kind of like filling them in, not really creating new eyebrows. So yeah. So next, I'm actually going to, I guess, conceal um, my eyebrows. I am using my Pro Con MAC Pro Concealer. I put the shade below, but I believe it's probably like, maybe like a shade lighter than my skin complexion, or maybe the same, I don't remember. But um, yeah, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think it's, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm just gonna put everything below, but I'm using my MAC Concealer to outline my eyebrows. Next is my favorite foundation, and this is the Fit Me Poreless Foundation. Um, I love it because it fits my skin complexion perfect out of all the foundations that I have, and it just makes my face look flawless, so I love it. And it's not heavy, um, but for this makeup look, I'm actually going to do two coats of foundation. I don't normally wear my makeup this heavy, but just for this look, that I'm going for, I am gonna apply the foundation hit, but it's up to you how you wanna apply your foundation. Now, to be quite honest with you guys, this is probably like the best concealer that I own currently, um, but this is, is it the Jordana? No, it's not Jordana, I forgot the name of it, but I'm gonna leave it below. If you guys look at the tube, you already know what um, type of foundation, what brand this foundation is. I just don't remember off the top of my head. But um, next, I'm, I, well actually I'm using it as a highlight, so now I'm just blending everything out. Um, I was kind of heavy with the foundation. Like I said, this is a very heavy look. Um, so that is why I'm applying it heavy. As you guys know, I don't wear heavy makeup like that. Okay, so next I'm actually setting the concealer with my NYX Pro um, Contour Palette. I use like this um, lighter shade and then I'm using my e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. It is my favorite eyelid primer. It's like a dollar at the drugstore and I've been using it for years because I have oily eyelids. And then on top of that, I am going to grab um, my NYX White Base because we want this color to pop. So that is why we're gonna use a white blade base and I'm gonna blend that out. Okay, so next I am grabbing this orange eyeshadow. Um, you guys don't have to use the same exact eye makeup that I use. I don't want you guys to feel like you have to go and buy what I have, but I just say work with what you have. So I'm using this orange as a transition color. Um, as you can clearly see, like in the look, you're not gonna see any orange once I blend everything out, but we're just using it as a transition for now. Okay, so next I am getting um, like a, well, you know what, I'm not even getting an orange red, it's flat out red. So I'm just getting a red matte eyeshadow and I'm putting that on top of the orange and I'm blending that out until my wrist hurt. You want to blend as much as possible. Um, the more you blend, the better the look is going to come out. Okay. 
Okay, so next I'm actually grabbing my Vice palette. Um, there is like a cherry maroon color that's in there. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to put that on my lid. Like I said, you guys don't have to use the same exact palettes that I'm using. Just work with what you have. Um, I just, on the top of my head, I can remember that there was this really nice plum color. Not plum color, but reddish cherry color in there that I like. And again, we're going to blend until the wrist hurts. Okay, so next I am just grabbing um, the champagne color. It's like a shimmery color and I'm putting that on the inner tear ducts just for a little pop. going to do the eyeliner it is up to you guys how dramatic you're going to do your eyeliner mine i'm gonna make it a little dramatic because we are gonna well i plan on doing, putting falsies on but if you're gonna put falsies on i would make the liner a little bit thicker so that it doesn't look weird when you put your falsies on top not make fun of me because I was struggling with these freaking lashes these falsies I have not put falsies on in so long and when I put them on I remember why I don't put them on but it brought the look together and I'm gonna try to, to start doing more falsies just for looks like this because I feel like it really pulls the look together and it came out really nice at the end Okay, so next is my favorite part. So I'm getting, um, don't make fun of me. I'm getting a white eyeliner to line my bottom lid. I actually have like a nude color eyeliner pencil, but I have no clue where it's at. I can't find it. And then next is my favorite part is the contour. So I'm using my NYX Contour Pro Palette. Um, I am like going in on this contour. I'm going in really, really heavy, very heavy, more heavy than what I normally go in um, because this is a heavy look. So yeah, so just make sure um, to blend it out so you won't look like you just went ham with like a brown marker on your face. Okay, so after that, I'm just going in with um, this plum-ish, like reddish blush. Um, I don't really, I hate heavy blush, so I guess you guys can see I'm not putting on too much blush on my cheeks. My eyelids are already red enough. I don't want cheeks that are way too red. And then I am grabbing um, a, if I can freaking find it, I think I'm looking for, what am I looking for? Oh, okay, I'm looking for my bronzer so i'm going to use that as to highlight my uh, my cheekbones okay so the look is not finished until i put my lipstick on so the lipstick that i am wearing is called cherry bomb it is what is it? Um, 
wet, what was it, wet and wild lipstick? Is that what it is? Yeah, so it's a cherry bomb wet and wild lipstick. And that was the whole inspiration for the whole entire look. And then I actually grabbed like a pink, a lighter pink lipstick and I put that on top just, you know, I guess to give it a little bit of dimension since my eyeshadow has a little bit of dimension. There's a whole bunch of different reds and pinks and stuff in there and I wanted to do that. But yeah, so that is pretty much the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really fell in love with this look, and it's really nice. And you know what? It just reminds me of fall. This fall is coming soon. Huh? Yeah, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, babyhawaii underscore. Be sure to check out my website, www.brownbeautyhawaii.com, and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Anybody would want to get you back off, to be quite frank. Like, to be honest with you guys, why is anybody here to do Bow Wow? Bow Wow has been irrelevant for like the longest. I don't keep up with Bow Wow. I don't pay attention to Bow Wow. And it's kind of annoying that he's even trending right now. Also, that being said, okay, you're mixed. His argument on Twitter was that he doesn't know what his ancestors were doing. And that he, since I'm gonna put the picture of the tweet, he said he doesn't know what his ancestors were doing back in the day, blah, blah blah. Okay, okay, cool. You want to string the whole I'm mixed uh, I'm mixed card, okay, that's cool. But